Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% entirely free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime on top of that get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it free, again, for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up and attending this event, then DM Bradley 90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, today we have a very special video for you guys. One of our head moderators, Austin, who goes by Aloha Trader in MIC chat, did a trade recap on NBY. He talks about the term trigger shy and anticipation. While this is just a preview of the full length video, if you wanna watch the full length video or any of our exclusive content, then become an exclusive MIC member. Hey everybody, Austin here. Um, gonna do another trade recap today, but before I do, I wanna say, I'm not licensed or registered, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of this should be taken as investment advice, even if it sounds like it. Okay, so um, today uh, was the anticipated day on NBY. I was able to avoid it all day yesterday, but today I was really looking forward to, uh, I was really looking forward to trading it, and I kind of goofed it up, and I want to go over how I goofed it up, why I goofed it up, um, things I should have been taking into consideration, which I didn't. Anyway, yada de yada de the whole story. So this move starts, and our, our my trade today starts from yesterday. And yesterday, uh, I was able to avoid this short all day, and uh, m mostly because, like, I mean, I don't get shouldn't give myself too much credit. I typically I don't typically join these until they get above two. Um, I don't really like to short stuff that's under two dollars. But hey, we did get over two. And this, but the, I didn't really like the way this was trading it. By the time it got up here, it was a halter. You know, this stock was halting every, seems like every five, 10 minutes, right? It was one of those, the last time I saw one of those, it was on either, I think it was like a BGI or a DE or a DELT, right? BGI or DELT. Those are both halting stocks where they just halt every, you know, every time it has a limit up halt every like 15 minutes or 10 minutes, it seems, right? And you can kind of see with all the stops, that the stock was doing right all these halts and so this made this makes it very tough to trade makes it very unattractive to trade because you know like you, you never you're always worried about getting stuck in a halt like like this one right this one just halt down halt down halt down but then you just get caught in these halts ups and no one really wants wants to trade it and then so I kind of did what I said I, I I saw this kind of fail here like we're approaching red to green and this is a nice bounce so I'm like I'll put I'll put on some starters here and I some starters and my idea was to before we get to the final one my idea was to short uh, kind of risking this 420 425 um, but short around four so I was go I was willing to go a little bit below four a little bit at four and a little bit over four and I'm gonna stop out at like 425 and all of this is just a starter right this is pre-market I'm trading it smaller all of this together counts as like a third of a position I'm really trying to go slow because I, you know, I, I'm, try, I'm giving it the respect it deserves, and look, it, it totally just rips up, and I'm, I'm totally happy taking it off right at the stop. I don't even care if I, I got stuffed into. I, you know, with a third size, I can put that right back on, and so um, it goes up all the way up, kind of to the levels that I was talking about, 450, and then like five was next. And but this isn't what I had in mind. I had a question about this. Well, it went to 450, like you said on the watch list. Like, why didn't you short it there? Well, hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already. You have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media. You can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.